A new four-armed humanoid from China. Combat wolf robots joining the Chinese army, next generation household helpers and couriers delivering packages right through the subway. This isn't sci-fi, it's just another ordinary day in Shenzhen. All this and more breakthrough robots from China right now. Let's go. Tired of delivery people bumping into you? What if they looked like this? Yes, in China, courier robots from Shenzhen Metro Group and VX Logistics have already mastered the subway. They're designed to look like friendly cartoon sidekicks, not clunks of metal taking up space during rush hour. These bots board trains on their own, hop off at the right stop and deliver straight to 7-Eleven stores, all inside the subway system. No escalator wrestling, no sidewalk chaos. Each bot is equipped with a multi-sensor navigation system and an AI route planning device. It can recognize pedestrians, doors, and escalators, avoid collisions, and most importantly, adjust to the rhythm of passenger flow. Shenzhen has already deployed 41 of these bots serving over 100 Metro 7-Elevens. Every day, 9 million passengers pass through and among them, these little nifty things glide like it's their skating rink. All managed by one brain, an AI that allocates orders based on train capacity, station crowding, and delivery urgency. A full-on logistics nervous system built into public transit. Do you think they asked the Pfizerum polycephalum fungus for advice just like they did in Tokyo Metro? Let us know in the comments. And China's not waiting for adults to adapt. They're raising kids and bots alongside. In thousands of kindergartens, children learn with Kiko, a pint-sized robot that looks like a smiling marshmallow on tracks that let it roll freely around the classroom. And guess what China's not doing? It's not waiting for adults to adapt. They're raising kids and bots alongside. In thousands of kindergartens, children learn with Kiko, a pint-sized robot that looks like a smiling marshmallow on tracks that let it roll freely around the classroom. At just 16 inches or 40 centimeters tall, it's non-threatening, playful, and smart. It tracks kids with its camera, reacts to movements, and even tailors lessons to the group's skill level. All this works through its internal AI module and direct link to educational platforms. Teachers use Kiko as a co-pilot. It poses riddles, runs classroom quests, reads bedtime stories, plays songs, cracks jokes, and turns learning into a game. The intended result? Well, a generation that doesn't fear robots. They expect them to be useful, safe, and sorta of cute. But now for something less cute, folks. Meet QGV Wolf. Unveiled at the 2024 Zuhai Air Show, this isn't your average robot dog, but the next step in combat machine evolution. Built by China South Industries Group, it's a 54 pound or 70 kilo quadruped that feels just dandy running on different terrains, climbing angled ladders and obeying voice commands like sit, stand and move. This unmanned ground vehicle during an exercise with four of its brethren did just that. And here's the kicker. Some models carry automatic rifles on their backs. Yikes! In wolf packs of four, everyone has a role. A scout, a stormtrooper, a carrier, and a sapper, all working as a unit. Can't have the ointment without the fly though, because the range on this bad boy is only about 1.2 miles or 2 kilometers on a 3 hour battery, and that's on a good day. Still. It's already been spotted in People's Liberation Army drills July this year alongside drones and infantry. So how do you feel about robot wolves with guns, people? Let us know in the comments. If you follow pro robots, you know China and robots are like ducks to water. Tencent, China's tech titan, is betting big on elder care with Chao Wu, a hybrid bot that rolls on wheels but walks on legs when it hits stairs thanks to its hybrid chassis. This solution combines the best of both worlds. Surprisingly, it's not a lab toy, rather actually built for real homes and nursing facilities. It carries groceries, helps seniors with mobility issues all the while it's walking around living quarters for the elderly. It has a high-res tactile system. The robot feels how a person's weight is distributed and adjusts its support to help them stand up or reach the bathroom without risk of falling. 
Powered by LiDAR, IMUs, and low latency SLAM, it maps rooms and dodges static and moving obstacles like a pro in real time. But the real magic? Multimodal interaction. In other words, it can forecast your needs. See a granny trying to get up from the armchair? Chao Wu's already moving into position, adjusting its approach. Chao Wu is not limited to care alone. It's connected to the Tencent ecosystem, meaning it can monitor health indicators like pulse, weight, etc., and transmit data to caregivers and family. Assistance settings can be changed through the app, for example, the strength of support or walking speed. And when it's not in use, well, it just folds up and tucks into a closet. This is the ultimate nanny bot. Quiet, smart, and always ready. Meanwhile in Shenzhen, PM01 is straining to be a police robot. Developers at Engine AI are promoting the idea of embodied intelligence, robots that not only exist, but sense their environment. After raking in $140 million in investment, the company has already made several models, including its compact powerhouse PM01. This 4.7 or 140 centimeter tall flagship has 24 degrees of freedom, which is enough to run quite a bit of errands. But the real strength is in its joints. Each can deliver up to 100 plus pound feet or almost 150 newton meters of torque, making movements extremely confident. PM01 uses dual chip architecture, Intel N97 plus Nvidia Jetson Orin. The bot also supports open source, ROS, extensibility, and interfaces for third-party sensor systems. It walks almost like a human, can pull a 320 waist spin giving it an edge in tight spaces, and a bonanza of LiDARs and stereo HD cameras, meaning full 3D awareness. The robot can avoid obstacles, change trajectory, and stabilize itself if pushed. Runtime is about 2 hours, but there's always the quick swap battery option. PM01 is currently positioned as a research robot and developers are not yet planning mass production, unlike this next guy. The Terminator of Household Chores, Hire's new humanoid robot, is here. The Heva Haiwa robot was first presented at AWE 2025 and its main idea is super simple, a domestic servant that cooks, cleans, and irons for you. Ladies. Keep this info away from your chauvinist partner. It stands at 5'5 five five or 165 centimeters tall, weighs 154 pounds or 70 kilos, and boasts 44 degrees of freedom. No legs for now, just a wheeled base, but arms that reach almost 6.5 feet or 2 meters from the floor up. At the moment, the prototype is remote controlled, but Hire's engineers plan to teach the robot all the good stuff. So much so that China is ready to make the data available to all developers from Hire's training centers. This isn't the company's standalone product though, it's a collaboration with Robot Era, a startup we've talked about in our previous videos. So yeah, it looks familiar. Heva is deeply integrated into Hire's smart home ecosystem. It talks to your fridge, oven, washing machine, you name it. So watch out folks, your robot might soon know your laundry preferences better than your roommate. Engineers from China decided to play Vishnu and made a humanoid robot with four arms. Meet the new Ice Age Bot. This cheeky rapscallion stands at 5'1 or 156 centimeters, weighs about a tad over 600 pounds or 280 kilos, and boasts an incredible 52 degrees of freedom, far more than most of its competitors. According to the company, each arm can lift between 6 and 35 pounds or 3 and 16 kilos, while the accuracy of its reach is an impressive thousandth of an inch or 0.03 millimeters. Developers claim this unique architecture doubles workspace, increases load capacity 20 times, and boosts task performance up to 5 compared to traditional systems. At its core, the robot runs on Sage Brain Controller and Sage OS, a proprietary system designed for integration with large language and vision models. Navigation relies on multi-sensor fusion. There are six cameras that provide a full 3D view of the environment, helping the robot adjust its movements in real time. Control options? Well, there's quite a few. Voice commands, touch screen, remote cloud access. Keep in mind, iSageBot's power system is built for 220 volts with an operating temp range of 50 to 100 Fahrenheit or 10 to 40 Celsius. 
Moving on, there's EX Robots, Masters of Uncanny Valley. Since China also loves robots that copy human appearance as accurately as possible, the company uses flexible skin and a complex system of facial muscles. It looks much more realistic than what we've seen before, from palm crease to goosebump. And if you want to get funky, the EX robot can make a robot clone of you. It only takes a 3D scan and a little bit of patience, oh, and about two to three hundred thousand dollars. Beyond appearance, the robots have high-res cameras that track the face and AI algorithms that synchronize speech and lip movements, making the robot look as convincing as possible. Building such an android takes from two to four weeks, and these are one-of-a-kind pieces, not for the living room, unless, of course, you do decide to get funky. Most often, these would be used in museums and exhibition centers. In EX Robot's own museum in Dalian, you can see dozens of machines like that, standing or moving among visitors. How do you guys feel about these things? Let us know in the comments. But this one, pure joy. Instead of Silent Hill reenactments, Astrobot S1 will play with your cat, cook dinner, clean the kitchen, and pour you a glass of Chardonnay. It looks like it leapt out of a cyberpunk anime, and it moves like a pro chef on espresso faster and more precise than a human, which was once considered fantasy. At 5'9", or 175 centimeters tall, and 100 pounds, or 45 kilos, it's got 49 degrees of freedom and arms that move at 32 feet, or 10 meters per second. Throw in peak joint load of 80 pounds, or 36 kilos, and no ordinary person can maintain such a tempo for even a few seconds. There's an advanced motion and balance control system in place here where each limb works as a separate module but is synced with AI. The robot instantly redistributes load and maintains balance even when pushed. Astribot combines imitation learning and AI, basically show it once and it knows how to do it. Say, mix ingredients, cut vegetables, pour tea, even play an instrument. In one video, it cooks waffles, flips them like Gordon Ramsay, and then plays music. Super smooth operator. Right now, it's a demo unit, but the future, well, it's wide open. Imagine this cutie patootie in your kitchen, if you can afford it. Now meet Unitree R1, the humanoid that costs less than a Mac Pro and could definitely become a mass product. Just like Apple products, R1 can move in your favorite color. Just like Apple, R1 can come in your favorite color and can jump, tumble, and get up after falling as if nothing happened. It's 4'11", or 1.2 meters tall, weighs 55 pounds or 25 kilos, and has 24 degrees of freedom. Six on each leg for walking and balancing like an acrobat, five on each arm, plus joints in the waist and head. All this is supported by a flexible control system, open interfaces, SDK, compatibility with popular simulators, you name it. Researchers can upload algorithms directly into the hardware, and hobbyists can experiment with movements that until recently were available only to expensive models like Boston Dynamics Atlas. R1 is multimodal, it hears voice commands, analyzes images, understands context, and acts. But most importantly, it was created not for show, but to become a mass platform. Forget the museum, train, develop, and experiment. Same company, different product. A2 Robot Dog, even wilder than the R1. It jumps, front flips, sprints at 16 feet or 5 meters per second, climbs slippery slopes, and carries 220 pounds or 100 kilos static and 55 pounds or 25 kilos while running. That means whatever it's carrying right now, it's able to catch up to a running human. Anybody worried? My producers tell me navigation tech here is also top-notch, a 4D LiDAR L1 with a 360 times 90 degree view lets it see everything within 2 inches or 5 centimeters, nearly zero blind spots, folks. The robot builds a map in real time and sees obstacles from all sides. Basically, it'll go where normal people would just politely decline to not. Its battery can go 5 hours light or 3 hours heavy depending on how hairy it gets. Operational temperatures range from negative 4 to 131 Fahrenheit or negative 20 to 55 Celsius. It's made out of aircraft-grade aluminum and armor plastic, meaning disaster zones, military ops, etc. Please message us, if you get one, to share your story. Next up, Tron from Lynx Dynamics. 
Once it was just an agile security robot. It could autonomously patrol any area, move quickly on wheels, step over obstacles, and climb stairs. Even if the robot fell, it would simply get up and keep going. That was already impressive. But then, the robot got an arm. Now, it can open doors, carry objects, and perform other tasks. Despite the compact platform, the arm can handle up to 33 pounds or 15 kilos, enough for many human jobs. For example, Tron can turn on a valve, fix a lever, or hand an object to a person. Its control system synchronizes leg and arm movements so that the robot stays stable even during sudden vertigo. It's waterproof, dustproof, heat and cold resistant, already commercially available, and its LiDAR system provides a complete 3D view of the environment. This makes it an excellent candidate for logistics, inspections, rescue missions, and of course, military. And yes, Lynx is also building a humanoid, but honestly, Tron is the real MVP. Compact, tough, and ready to work. And finally, Xpeng. The company got its reputation as a car manufacturer and a very original one. For example, a six-wheeled SUV with a passenger drone on board, or a luxury sedan with helicopter-style rotors. But Xpeng decided that that wasn't gonna cut it. A couple of years ago, the company showed an unusual robot, a pony, as a concept for children's mobility. The little white dragon was not meant to be just a toy on wheels. The robot was supposed to recognize faces and voices, respond to commands, and its eyes, or cameras and lidars, were to let it build maps and avoid obstacles. It could not only follow its owner, but even ride ahead as if it knew where you were going. The main idea was the first smart vehicle for a child, and it's a pity that the company seems to have abandoned it. But the company's robotics department focused on developing a humanoid robot called Iron. It was first shown at Auto Shanghai 2025, at 510 or 175 centimeters tall and 154 pounds or 70 kilos, it's got 22 degrees of freedom per arm and more than 60 joints in total across the body. It sees 720 degrees around itself, yes, that's a thing, walks at 4 feet or 1.2 meters per second, and handles small objects with human-like dexterity. And at 3000 tops, AI brain, it has the same oomph as a self-driving car. Iron is basically a driver with a sixth sense. This robot was created for industry and service. It's already being trained at a factory in Guangzhou, and in the future, it will be used in retail and service jobs. In essence, this is autopilot technology transferred from cars into a human body. The idea, by the way, belongs to Elon Musk. However, most of the info on this miracle is still theoretical. Actual videos are in short supply, and the company is still kind of has to prove the robot's viability. It looks great though, doesn't it? And if there's one thing Xpeng is really good at, it's design. What do you guys think? Which robot surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments and also subscribe to the channel, like our videos and check out our socials for more from the world of high tech.